What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia if you are new here. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be testing out Amazon clip-in curly hair extensions for you guys. You guys asked for more curly content and I am delivering. And I know a lot of you guys have been really curious about Amazon hair in general. I did a curly tape-in video a while back from Amazon and you guys really enjoyed that one. So I figured, hey, why not? Why don't we try one with curly clip-in hair extensions? As always, I will leave timestamps down below for you guys if you want to skip to different chapters of the video. However, I always recommend that you watch the full video, that way you don't miss any important information. And of course, as always, all products I discuss are linked down below as well. So if that sounds good to you, then please continue watching. So I want to talk a little bit about the company and the hair, as always, before I actually start applying the extensions to my head. So the brand that I'm testing out today is the brand Hetto. It's spelled H-E-T-T-O. And I've obviously already opened the hair, but this is what the packaging looks like upon arrival. Now this brand did reach out to me. This is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to film this video. They asked me if they could send me some of their clip-in curly hair extensions for me to film an honest review video on. And of course, my opinions are always my own and I'm always gonna be 100% honest with you. We don't lie here, but we also don't gatekeep amazing products. So let's hope that these are that. Now they sent me two packs of 18 inch, 100 gram clipping curly hair extensions. These each come with seven clips. These hair extensions run from 14 inches to 22 inches, and you guys know I normally love my long 22 inch mermaid curly hair, but I kind of have been enjoying the length that it is right now, and so I wanted to try some shorter extensions. So I went with the 18 inch length, and I am very pleased that I did, because I feel like this is going to be perfect for adding lots of volume, and it won't really add much length, but that's okay. Again, I just want a lot of volume. I want that voluminous lion look for the summer. Like I said, the brand did reach out to me. They are located in China. The hair is 100% real Remy human hair, so you're not getting any fake fibers in there. It's not fake extensions. And in the past, you guys have been really curious about what the curl pattern is like after you wash the hair. So I'm gonna insert some clips in here of what the hair looks like directly out of the packaging. You can see that it's really like perfect kind of like ringlet waves. They obviously haven't been loosened up because they have been in their packaging. And so I thought it would be great to actually go ahead and wash the extensions before this video so that I could really give you guys an honest opinion on what they are like after, if they hold up their wash, if they experience any shedding, all that good stuff. So in this next clip that I'll be inserting, you can see the difference between one bundle that has not been washed versus the other bundle, which has been washed. And I actually was so, impressed right off the bat with this hair because it did not shed like almost at all and pretty much every hair extension brand i have tried in the past whether they're straight or curly they do shed quite a bit especially with that first wash you can even sometimes see like dye coming off you get quite a bit of shedding when you brush you notice that the comb or the brush is full of hair and I used my Denman brush on this after I shampooed and conditioned. I used the Denman brush on each individual clip and almost no hair came out at all. Another thing I wanna mention is I only used shampoo and conditioner. I didn't put any products on them. That being said, you definitely can. It's real human hair, so you wanna treat it as you would normal hair. And I would not recommend straightening or blow drying or anything like that. And they don't recommend you do that as well just because Curly hair is fragile and you don't want to damage it. And the reason you bought curly extensions is to wear your hair natural. Come on girl, we know, we see you, that's why. And you can see that it really did not mess up the integrity of the curl. If anything, this looks much more natural now than it did when it came out of the packaging. So I highly recommend if you do order curly hair extensions, whether it be these ones or another brand, that you definitely want to go ahead and give them a good wash before wear because that's just going to really make the curl pattern look much more natural and not so perfect. Like, you know, our hair is not super, super perfect. That's what makes it unique. So like I said, I really was thrilled with that. I feel like this curl pattern matches in fantastic with my hair. Like even the color is almost spot on. The curls are very, very spot on. So I'm gonna tell you which ones I got. Like I said, I got the 18 inch. The ones I got are actually called wavy. So I'm reading off a computer screen. And these are the number two dash NW. And so this is the darkest brown color. So it says natural wave, NW stands for natural wave. And number two is like the darkest brown. 
So that is what I got and I feel like it was a very good match for my hair and my hair color. Don't be deterred by the fact that it says natural wave. I know a lot of us are gonna be like, uh, girl, my hair's curly. Same, I feel you. I have like 3A to 3B curl pattern, so I was a little hesitant. I don't think these are natural wave. I definitely think that this is a 3A to 3B curl pattern. So if that is your hair, you will be absolutely perfect. Now, if you have even curlier hair than mine, if you have like 3C to 4A curls, they do have a kinky curly on here as well. And that comes in just as many shades as this one does, the one that I have, just the natural wave. And you're getting a good amount of shades. You have a jet black, you have the darkest brown, which I have. There are a few blonde shades. There's a few like brown with highlights going on. You have quite a few options on there. So again, like I said, it'll be linked below so you can check it out for yourself, but you have that option. And they do actually sell like different hair as well. Like if you wanted straight hair, all that stuff, they do carry that as well, just on a different part of their Amazon store. You could probably get away with just one bundle. One bundle is 100 grams. Usually I prefer about 200 grams depending on how thick your hair is, how blunt the haircut is, all that good stuff. So my hair isn't blunt cut anymore. It might kind of look it right now, but it's actually quite layered. So it is not as blunt as it has been in some of the previous videos where you've seen me film. So I feel like blendability is a little bit easier. It also depends on how much volume you're adding, how much length you're adding. For me, since I am only focusing really on volume, one, would probably be good, but we're, we got two just in case. You know, we might wanna add a few extras. We don't know yet. If you are adding length though, you may want to go for two bundles just because if you have quite short hair or fairly short hair in comparison to the length, then it might be harder to blend. The other thing that I wanted to mention was the shipping was extremely fast, <laughs> like light speed, which is very impressive, especially because they are coming from a warehouse in China. And a lot of times when you order things from another country, it does take quite a while. This took about a week to get to me, which is very impressive. Okay, so enough of the rambling. Let's jump right on in to actually applying the extensions to our hair. And another thing that I have seen you guys comment is that you wish that I gave more of an in-depth tutorial on how to clip in the extensions. So I'm gonna do that. I will actually like turn around and apply the extensions the way that I normally would. That way you can really see how I clip them in because I know a lot of people have been really curious about that, so we'll do that. This is a new angle. You're probably wondering what the actual clips look like and how many of are of what. If that even made any sense. We've got a few going on here. So let's start with you get two of the singular little clips to these guys. You get two of the two clip ones like this. You get two three clip wefts and then you get one four clip weft like this. So I usually like to start with the larger and then work my way up to the smallest. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that right now. And what I like to do is I kind of start right above the ear. Like I go right from my temple straight back like this. And this is the worst, trying to separate your hair when it's curly is you're trying not to cause frizz, but it's like almost impossible. I'm just taking a little clip and I'm just taking that four weft clip and flipping that over and just clipping that right in. So you can see we've added a tiny bit of length but nothing serious. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn to the side because I want to be able to show you the difference between what my hair looked like before and what it looked like after. So I'm going to be taking a three clip weft and just going above where I did that other clip, I'm just gonna section off another little area. And this is just going to go on this half of my head because it's three clips, it's not gonna wrap all the way around like a four clip would. Now I'm gonna take the second three clip weft and go just above that. So 
So you can start to see we are building quite some volume. Above that, I'm going to go in with a two clip. And this is just really to show you the maximum amount of volume you can get. And I usually like to save the one clips for the end if I feel like there's anywhere in my hair that is looking like a little flat. I will add these in at the very end, but I'm just taking a quick intermission to show you the difference here. So we have, this is my hair on the side that we did not put the extensions in. So you can see it's pretty much the same length as the other side because like I said, I wasn't really here to add the length, but more so the volume. And you can definitely see the side is quite a bit more full than this side, but it still is looking very natural. Like I don't feel like somebody would necessarily cop on that I have hair extensions in. I feel like it blends very nicely, especially because I washed it and brushed out with and brush while it was wet. I feel like that really helped the curl pattern to just look quite a bit more natural. So I'm gonna go ahead now and use the extensions from the second bundle to do the other side. And I'm only gonna add the two three clips and then the one two clip because like I said, I have the four clip on the very back going all the way across. So I feel like that's good as far as that. So again, just parting right above where you put that four clip weft in and you kind of just feel around and wing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I just take a claw clip to pull the rest of my hair out of the way. And then I just take it like this, like upside down and flip it. I find that that's the easiest way really to apply it. And then again, just going directly above that, clipping the hair out of the way going in with the other three clip weft. The other thing that I find that's really nice about these extensions is they're very lightweight. Now that's obviously because they're only 100 grams total, so they are gonna be not as heavy as some of the traditional curly or regular clip and hair extensions that are heavier. So if you have more fine hair or if you have a really sensitive scalp, you may prefer this. I actually quite like it myself, even though I don't have a sensitive scalp, but you know, if you're wearing it for hours on end, it can, you know, start to pull. And then I'm just taking a two clip weft and placing that right above the three clip. So I feel like that was very simple and straightforward, very easy. I feel like this looks really, really good. Like. I am beyond impressed. This is probably the most impressed I've been with hair extensions in a very long time. And to be honest with you, I did not have high expectations. Because it's Amazon, you just don't really know what you're getting when you buy hair off Amazon. Like, I really did like my tape and extensions, but I did notice there was more shedding with those than there was with these. So, I'm just impressed. I'm really impressed with the texture of the hair too. It's like... Chef's kiss, spot on, very nice and soft. So I have a few extensions left over. I still have one of the four clips. I have a two clip. I have another two clip. And then I have the four single clips. So I actually like having extras because over time, if I wanna switch out one of the other ones, like I feel like, you know, it's either looking split or it's starting to lose its curl pattern. I have backups, so I find that that is really helpful as well. So I'll give you a quick 360 of the hair so you can kind of see all angles of it. So here is from the side. Here's from the back. The other side. And the front. Like, I'm just honestly shook. I'm shook. In conclusion, I would say that I highly recommend these hair extensions. I can't find any fault with them at all. And I'm a fussy person. I find fault in a lot of things. And I can't find anything wrong with these at all. <laughs> so that being said, definitely would recommend. I think that these are great quality hair and they look extremely natural. So run, do not walk to your computer Add these to your Amazon cart immediately because sis, you needed them like yesterday.
So that is it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please drop a comment down below if you have any curly hair recommendations, whether it's extensions, brands, products, you name it. Also, feel free to let me know if there is anything you want me to include in future videos, whether it is product reviews or that kind of thing, you, anything that you want to see me do differently or include, please feel free to let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and thank you guys so much for watching.